Tonight we're at Citrus County Speedway in Inverness, Florida. And this is short track NASCAR racing, one of Rusty Wallace Racing Experience's special events. There's only five of us in tonight's two feature races. Number 30 is Peyton, a 26-year-old out of Houston who's been racing since he was 15 and who is looking to turn pro. 47 is Andy, who owns his own late model race car and races at Hickory, North Carolina. Number 55 is Mark from the Northeast with quite a bit of racing experience. And the number 10 is Mark Ebert, the CEO of Rusty Wallace Racing Experience, who raced on his local circuit at Thompson Speedway in Connecticut for many years. And then there's me in the 32, just an old guy working on his bucket list who never set foot on a racetrack before I was 68 years old about five years ago. Nowadays, my choice is either to play bridge at the Senior Center or do something that pumps up my adrenaline. Considering my job in my younger years, I did 20 years in the Navy as a fighter-bomber pilot. You can probably guess which way I turn. When the 30 went by, I lifted just a bit. A bad idea when you have a couple of hungry race car drivers behind you. I got freight trained, and now I'm in last place.
and not so fast. Second place. Not so bad for a 73 year old race car driver. I've been in a couple of races with Rusty Wallace Racing in the past couple of years and won almost all of them, except for the World Series of Asphalt Racing at New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Don't know why I let Mark Ebert talk me into that one. It was an actual sanctioned NASCAR race, and I even had to get a NASCAR license to race in that one. Every driver had a minimum of 15 years racing experience. I had 15 minutes. But I made new friends during practice. I guess we're not going to be friends on Facebook. This is where I learned that it's best to keep the window net up. I think it saved me from getting my lights punched out. Now I was going to show you the last race of the night at Citrus Speedway, a 20 lap feature race. But since I led much of the race, there's nothing much to show except the clear space in front of my car. didn't give Andy any room, but he went for it anyway. Oh well, racing is wrecking. Andy, when we get back to the pits, all I can say is you better keep your window net up. Wow, I can see why people love short track racing.